Greetings. This is Arvette McLean of Speak the Universe Listens. your thoughts, change your life. Step into the bigness of you. Greetings and welcome to today's episode of Speak the Universe Listen. And today's topic is the magical world of creation. And I have Stephen joining us. Uh, Hi, Stephen. Yeah, so, I, um, you know, the, the magical world of creation. So, a lot of times, I don't think anyone has ever said this to me, but I hear that people think that people who talk about the kind of stuff that we talk about, like, you know, we're supposed to be woo woo and, you know, probably not totally grounded in right. earth and you know that type of thing um like he's talking about magic mm -hmm. and so forth and i think that that would be perfect to talk about magic because when you think about our world everything in our world is very magical you know you think about how's a planet suspended mm -hmm. in space right. you know and our earth is like spinning it i don't even know thousands of miles an hour yet we can't even feel it yeah. <laughs> you know moving through space we don't even know that that's happening so to me that's magic or it's magic you know the sun just to be sitting there and then the sun does all these things like grow the plants and you know and then you got the rain like everything is just so perfectly orchestrated mm -hmm. you know i mean if you think about you know conception what <laughs> uh, you know, egg and sperm and all this stuff happening. You get the heartbeat, and, and then you got a person. <laughs> you know, and just even us being able to sit here and laugh, like, how? <laughs> so, those might not be the best examples, but it's like if you really think about anything. Um, and actually, I just read this, someone has said, um, it's easy for us to believe that, what were they talking about? Anyway, I'm going to make it up. <laughs> so they're like, it's easy to believe that, you know, you can send a picture from your cell phone to somebody else's cell phone. But to think that I could read your mind, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard to believe. Or whatever. Like, how did that picture jump onto that cell phone? Like it's going through the waves or whatever, just like we can, mm -hmm. you know, utilize these waves as well. Yeah, no, I think you're exactly mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and it's funny that you said, um, like the picture example, because mm -hmm. one question that I think I might ask y'all before is, one thing I still don't understand is the internet. Like, what is it? <laughs> I have no idea what it is and I use it every day. <laughs> and so I guess that's just another one of those magical creations that if, if I can accept that this thing I don't even know what it is. I can just use it and communicate with people like in a split second. Right. And why shouldn't I be able to believe that I can also create everything around me? Mm -hmm. So yeah, all magic. Yeah. I mean, and then, you know, I always would be like, now how did those people, they sit in a studio, how are they on this TV screen? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how did you get there? You know? And so when you really think about I mean, you can really probably just take anything and really think about it, and you're just like, how, mm -hmm. how did that happen? And of course, we can use science and all that stuff to explain it, but by the same token, we can use science to explain how we create anything. Everything is created from nothing. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm -hmm. And it, it starts with a thought. And so, 
magical world of creation. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, I can tell anybody, just pretty much just like what you, what your thought, you know, as soon as you plant that seed of your thought and um, you think about it and you marinate on that thought, I mean, it's, it goes to show you that anything is possible and you can make things happen, you know what I'm saying? You may not even consciously just think about it like that. You, the thought may cross your mind and then it just may happen you know, maybe two years down the road, a year down the road, a week or so later, and you're like, what that? I thought mm -hmm. about that, and it was like, huh, you just made magic, like, just like that, you know? So, um, just, uh, I would say, um, just uh, really um, think about it, whatever it is that you want. I mean, anything that you want to happen, you want to have, um, just, Wave that magic wand in your head <laughs> and just be like, you know what? This is what I want. Bam. And that's it. Yeah. And you see, it's crazy. Uh, because I think when you think about it like that, you start right. think, thinking things like, oh, well, I am magic. Because uh -huh. I can literally say, I want this. And then I can just say, I want it. And I just go live my life. Not even knowing that after I said I wanted, I started creating a life that would lead me to exactly what I just said I wanted. Every time. <laughs> that, that is just so beautiful. And when you, like, when you really sit down and think about it. Yeah. I mean, even, you know, like, we were just looking, talking about the, what is it, the sequoia trees. Mm -hmm. And I, um, my husband, I have a picture where um, I had taken a picture of my husband. I sent it to yeah, you. Right? Yeah, 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 so he looked like he's this tall compared to, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, a tree. And to think that just started from a, a seed, you know, or whatever. And like what both of you have just said, it's like everything that we see that's been created has also come from that little seed, you know, in our head. Like we have a thought and we don't have to know how to do it. We don't, we don't have to know how to do it. If I want a baby, I don't have to know how. I know, you know I know, yeah. I know how, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how. You know, I don't know how to make the baby. You know, I don't know how to grow a tree. I know I can plant, you know, but I don't know how to make it grow mm -hmm. or whatever. And that's the same thing with anything. Like, is something comes from nothing. And so you have the thought that's your seed and something else will orchestrate it so we just have to love on it believe on it and know that we are magic and that it's almost like we can pump. it's a, a commercial i saw i don't know what commercial it was but i think it's like some type of junk removal commercial mm -hmm. and so the lady just points to stuff and then it just disappears and she points and it disappears and it points. So the people are coming to just remove the garbage. But it's also like, it's almost like we can just point and say, I want this, I want that, I want that. And it'll just magically happen. And even though a lot of times we think we just made it happen. <laughs> no, it's been orchestrated for us. And I think if we become aware of how often that happens and how often our thoughts are just being orchestrated from us, that would allow us to have more and bigger and better. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> I think just taking off the limit in our mind, mm -hmm. you know, of what we can't do mm -hmm. and just be like, you know what, I'm going to get this right here, <laughs> you know, I'm... This is what's going to happen for me, and just don't set no limitation on uh, what can possibly mm -hmm. happen for you. I think that will help too. Yeah, I think that's super important, Stephen. Uh, removing that limit yeah. because, again, I think our only <laughs> wow, this is crazy. I think I'm just having to start now. I think about. It, I think the only obstacle in life is us. Like, there's nothing. Like, there's not going to be anything in my past stopping me from what I want, except maybe my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. And not even like a, not even like a, oh, I just, I'm thinking I can't do it, but more so like a, I'm thinking I can't do it, and so now I'm creating the obstacles that would stop me from doing it. <laughs> right. So I guess That's if right. you want to keep with the magic, you call that the dark magic. That just goes to show you, man, what you just said. You, you, you sit back and you worry about something, and 
Are you doing this? You creating more worry for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean? you creating more problems for yourself. So imagine taking that thought process and turning it around and applying it to what you want in your life. Mm -hmm. And imagine, and see, and see how that you know how that plays out for you. Yeah, and I think the beauty in that and the beauty in not knowing is you get to become the creator of whatever you want it to be. So in not knowing, you get to create whatever it is. So say I don't know why, say I don't know how to tie my shoe. Right. And I get to create how I want to tie my shoe from there on out. <laughs> so it's like every obstacle isn't even an obstacle because you get to create like what it is. Like, so I guess the best example, somebody cuts you off in traffic, yeah. you can think something bad about it, but you can also think, oh, well this person's doing this, well this person, you know, they seen all that traffic up there, they're going to clear the way from you. <laughs> you could think literally anything. Yeah. And that's also magic. Yeah. So we exist in a world where anything is possible. And so um, basically what we've been talking about this whole year, is creation and how to create and the particles um, the field of pure potentiality all this responds to our very thought so anything that we think about we automatically energize that thing so if i think about this computer it's it's like the computer the molecules in the computer will kind of get excited because i'm thinking about it like our our attention to a thing causes it to vibrate and so whatever we're thinking on, we can create because we're causing things to vibrate to our very thought. I can say I had an uh, experience this week as to where um, I had a job and I really wasn't finished with it. And so I, had, I knew I had to go back and go finish the job. So throughout the week, my, my focus was on this one customer and I'm like, Man, dang, man, gotta go finish this job up, you know, get it right, make it make it look good, you know, and I'm thinking about how they feeling, what they're saying, so forth, so forth. Sure enough, I get a call, man, you know, it's them, man, you know, they was explaining to me everything I was feeling and everything that I was thinking. They just verified it and I'm like, okay. And so after that I was just thinking to myself, I said, you know what? I thought about you know, and just by me thinking about it, mm -hmm. I manifested. So I said, all right, so now bring it back in. And it just, <laughs> you know, reroute your focus, mm -hmm. Steve. Reroute your focus. That's so funny you say that because sometimes when I don't want somebody to remember something, but I'm remembering, I'm like, erase that thought, erase that thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if I'm, if I'm thinking about it, it's going to make them remember something. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's funny you both say um, things about manifesting and how when you put your thought on something, it vibrates and it gives us that energy. Right. Because I have a friend and me and her laugh all the time. It, We always think about each other and then the other one calls immediately after every time. And it never fails. We just continuously manifest each other to the point now, we don't even text or communicate. We just wait for that moment and we just know it's going to happen every time. <laughs> But when you called me today, I started laughing. I was like, I knew he was going to call me. <laughs> I just felt it. Like he thinks about me right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly what it is. Though. So when you were putting our thoughts onto things, they do, I guess in a sense, become a little more alive. Mm -hmm. In a sense of like, I don't know, it's almost like when you start thinking about things, they start jumping at you. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you're thinking about this now, it's just jumping out at you. It's like, oh my goodness, I never forget, like, I could have, like, a, I could be driving to have a certain type of car in my mind. Uh, and then, you know, sure enough, not too soon later, it just pops up right there. And then, no one is like, all right, you know, maybe that's just a blue car effect. You know, it popped up because that's what you're looking for. But no, I started thinking about, like, cars that were very abstract and it would still pop up. <laughs> so, the magical power. Yeah. Yes, and, and so I think I would kind of say that when we have that magical power to whatever we're thinking about it vibrates to, to us it it responds to us and it comes to us so we can do it by default which is how we normally do it we think random thoughts 
<laughs> we get random things and then we think that it's something out there that's causing this. But really it's us that's causing this stuff. And so to be very cautious, cautious, conscious yeah. of what you're thinking, think what you want to happen. Just think, start thinking those things. Mm -hmm. Now, I did have one more example. And it's funny because it's, this just happened last week. So my little brother got into a car accident or whatever. And so his car was totaled. And so he came to me, he was all upset because he was also planning a trip to home. He's trying to trip soon. So he was all upset. He's like, yeah, you know, now I can't go on a trip. And I was like, well, LJ, I just need you to do me two things. I said, one, I need you to understand that everything will be okay because everything has always been okay. And then I said, two, I also need you to never think about the negative. I said, and I need you to think about the positive. I said, but even if it's too hard for you to think about the positive because that seems like it's like impossible to you, I said, just do me a favor. Don't think about the negative, and I'll keep trying to think about the positive and help you out. But I can't have, like, just don't block it. Help me out. Help me help you. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, so enough, uh, a week later, he comes back with, like, a random lump sum of money. He's like, man, I thought I won't be able to do this. I thought I won't be able to do that. I said, man, I just told you. All you had to do is stay positive and to stay with me. <laughs> Guys, on the magical world of creation. Star creating. <laughs> Star creating. We're all creators, so make sure you create the reality you want, is all I was saying. Right. Yeah. And, and it is truly magical, magical indeed. Um, and, you know, actually, I say that that was going to be my mantra for this year is magic and miracles. Mm -hmm. And it's just um, a recognition that. Everything around us, it really is magic when you really think about it. And um, to start paying attention to the miracles in your life. And the more you pay attention to the miracles, the more you claim them as miracles, the more miracles will show up. So even things that maybe might, could have been a miracle, but you just claim it as one anyway, you start seeing more. And, and this, it's just been fascinating just to watch the miracles unfold and blossom in my life just because I've been giving that my intention. Yeah. So the magical world of creation, just keep that in mind that we are magic, we are creators, uh, we don't have to know how because it's divine orchestration bringing everything you see <laughs> into fruition. Until next time, this is Arvette. This is Steve. And Toronto.